The economy of Bulgaria functions on the principles of the free market, having a large private sector and a smaller public one. Bulgaria is an industrialized upper middle income country. One euro is 1.97 level. The strongest economic sector in Bulgaria are energy, midnight, metallurgy, mansion building, architecture and tourism. In terms of economic development today, Bulgaria is in the group of developing countries. After the fall of communism and the establishment democracy in Bulgaria, the economy progressed. This is like that because our country opened to other countries. This is type of uh, communication is always more successful than when economic closes an important character of democracy is that allows private ownership unlike communism. In ancient times, the economy was based almost entirely on agriculture. In the Middle Ages, however, during the great geographical discoveries, uh, the conquerors began to want to own wealth. Then the first banks were founded and the first global economies were created. Over time, the science and the people's knowledge developed and accordingly also did the economy. It passed through the industrial revolution, through many peaks and through many crises. And now in the 21st century, in some countries, the economy has reached its peak, but other countries are still in crisis. And of course, the countries with the best economy are those in which rule democracy. In the past, when the monarchy had the power, there were very highly developed countries in economic terms. But there was a huge division in society between rich people and poor people. The aristocracy lived a life of leisure, but was minority. The majority of the population lived in poverty. For those people, it was difficult even to raise their children. Moreover, long, long it has been a rule that if you are born poor, you will be poor for the rest of your life. Nowadays, there are also very poor and very rich people, but the majority of the population of the European democratic countries doesn't have such a huge difference in the status of the people. Also, it doesn't matter where you came from. If you study and work hard, you can achieve everything. Culture, infrastructure, industry, transport, tourism. Countries that are well developed in these sectors have a good economy and a higher standard of living even if they are not democratic. The best example is China. The country has one of the most powerful and fastest growing economies in the world. means freedom.
the an important part of the economy is communication. Import, export, tourism, transport, everything is easier with democracy. It gives us the chance to communicate with everyone all around the world.